Hi, today I'm going to relieve some stress. By the way, if you are new to my channel, hi. And if you feel new to my channel, well, I think I know why. Here is the frame. It was already seasoned, but there might be some stress still in there. Let's work on it. So here I realized the clamps were a bad idea, but trust me, it will get worse. I decided to bolt down the vibrator directly to the frame. Also, I decided to add some inertia to the shaft, so the vibrations are bigger. But before I started recording, well, this happened. So now, after destroying this device like two, three times, I think this is the final attempt. If this won't work, I am probably going to surrender. Hopefully this time it will be okay. I'm going to use bigger screws with some thread glue because last time I made screws were not able to hold everything together.
When I mounted it like this, the motor started vibrating as well, so it was absorbing all the vibrations from the frame. So I had to modify it once again. So I will try to weld the feet back to the motor. Actually, I hate welding cast aluminum, but I will give it a try. Being honest, I welded up uh, one of them already, so I know this material, this aluminum is weldable, so we will try to fix it. It's not pretty, but it is some kind of welded, so it should hold together, probably. So, as I stated before, I'm not any kind of expert, but I think it should hold for what we need. So I decided here to add some mass to the shaft to amplify the vibrations, making sure the amplitudes will be strong enough. I also made a cover, which wasn't useful anyway. So here we are, after like 6 hours of vibrating this thing, I think there should be less stress than it was earlier. Actually I have no idea if this even worked. Let's see, after machining we will know if the surface has turned banana or no, we'll see. So this frame was uh, seasoned already for like, I don't know, 6 months maybe. Additionally, I did the vibration stress relieving. I discovered during this process that this frame uh, has its uh, two resonance frequencies, one at about 36, also there is one frequency at about 20, 21, something like that. The measurement on the device I made on the control unit, the acceleration was about 
2G, maybe 3G, from what I read, some articles should be at about 3, 4, 5G. If it was at about 4 to 5, G, we would be almost sure that it worked. At this point I'm not sure, but well after machining we will know. Also I could uh, try to anneal this, but I messaged like five companies, none of them answered my question, so that's why I'm not going to give this to annealing. Also if my, uh, if my software was making a graph out of the measurements it's making, I would be sure if I did the vibrating right or not because if the resonance frequency of the frame would move on the graph in one or the second direction, it would mean that the vibrating was successful. At this point I'm leaving it as it is now. I'll pass over the frame to the company which will machine important uh, surfaces for me. Let me know what you think. And thanks for watching.